What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm sitting here looking at the shirt here. It's amazing because it seems like it was just yesterday that my wife made me this shirt, Countdown to Football. And we had already marked off February, March, April, and we're not far away from marching, marking off uh, May. I can't believe it. The time is just slipping on by. So I am back home, back home, and it feels so good to be here in my basement, okay? Not my mother-in-law's house, not my mama's basement, but in my basement. And I'm getting caught up on everything that is the Dallas Cowboys, as well as the craziness that is Philly 500. Interesting, 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 interesting. Philly 500 is making some sense right now. And I hadn't thought about this this way or not, but basically he's saying that DeAndre Hopkins is a two-team race between the Cowboys and the Eagles. And his logic is actually very, very good on here. Now, we've heard that um, Kansas City, as well as Buffalo, are the dream teams for DeAndre Hopkins. We've also heard that Hopkins is looking for a substantial contract. He wants to get paid, okay? So with that, Philly 500 points out that cap-wise, Kansas City Chiefs have 652000 The Buffalo Bills have $1.4 million. That's not a lot. Now, we only have 10.5, but we're getting an additional 10.5 um, June 1st because of Zeke Elliott. So right now we're in the middle of the pack, but we're going to be jumping up into the top five. Top five in cap room. So money talks, BS walks. So Hopkins may have his dream players that he wants to play with. But he also wants to get paid. But be that as it may, let me bring on my buddy Philly Five Hundred and listen to his logic here. I, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let him do the work. Way kick things back here. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. Uh, you know, if DeAndre Hopkins really wants to win, and this is where we're gonna find here out we go. what he's all about. Mm -hmm. Is he about winning, or is he only about the straddle? That's gonna be the question because if really he wants to win then the easiest path for him to do that is to come to the philadelphia eagles and we're going to get into it in a second but before we do that you know the deal if you're new to the channel and you like the content hit that uh, like more importantly make sure you subscribe to the most censored the most throttled pause eagles content creator in all of the internet and if you've been subscribed for a while i just want to thank you for all the support you give to me Day after day, week after week, uh, it, it's truly humbling. Okay, it get really to is, it, Phil. I get just to want it. you guys to know how much I appreciate you. Now, I'm going to jump right into this mother humple because I'm feeling a little bit fired up. I'm feeling I'm fired, fired up. up about this whole DeAndre Hopkins mm -hmm. thing, right? I've had a chance to kind of think about the whole situation of him getting cut and if the Eagles should sign him. I've had a chance to think about it, mm -hmm. to reflect on it. To, I don't meditate because I ain't into that crap. But, you know, to to, to talk, think about it. I sat in bed. My wife's like, hey, baby, one of the babies. And I said, baby, I got I got things to think about. Are you making babies? Here. Well, we will do the babies real quick, and then I got to get back to DeAndre Hopkins. So, you know, I've been I've been thinking a lot about this. And, and the conclusion I come up with is this. Mm -hmm. Should the Eagles pursue DeAndre Hopkins? One thousand, one million percent, absolutely yes, yes. So you're telling now, me there's a chance. That? It's simple. DeAndre Hopkins would help the Eagles. We all know that the Eagles may have a situation where we may not feel comfortable with Quez Watkins. At least some of you guys out there. I personally want to give him a chance, but I can't write Quez Watkins in, Watkins in for sure and say, yeah, he's definitely going to be better than he was a year ago i hope he is i think he's got the potential but we've got to see it uh now you're in a situation right you're in a situation that comes up once every i don't know five to ten years where you have an opportunity mm -hmm. to do something like this and what am i talking mm -hmm. about go ahead i'm talking about putting out an offense that is so unstoppable that people 
just can't do anything about it. That you're going to be so far ahead above everybody else that even any deficiency you may have at linebacker, you may have a safety, mm -hmm. it won't matter because teams can't keep up with you offensively. You have a chance to do that. You have a chance Makes to a great do something point there. that in 10 years people will be talking about. You have the chance to do something great. You understand what I'm saying? So at, from the Eagles' perspective, yeah, you absolutely got to jump all over this, okay? You've got to jump all over it. Now, I will say this. The current, the current favorites to land uh, DeAndre Hopkins at this point are two teams, Kansas City and Buffalo. Unfortunately, for those two teams, they've got cap problems. Mm -hmm. Get this. This is true. Um, uh, way to Kansas tell, City Phil. Chiefs. Currently, the Chiefs have the second least cap space in the NFL per over the cap. They have just six hundred. $52,000 uh, available to spend. So they would have to restructure some contracts to open up space needed to sign Hopkins. All right, so that's them. The Buffalo Bills. The Bills are in a slightly better shape than the Chiefs, but only barely. Buffalo has the least third cap space in the league at $1.4 million. So while they would at least be able to offer Hopkins a minimum type contract with their open space, unlike the Chiefs, they can't offer mm -hmm. uh, him much more than that. They so can restructure. These two teams, the two favorites, are basically in cap hell. Now, they can restructure, and there's always ways to manipulate it. So I don't get caught up when people go, well, you don't have cap space. You don't have cap space. Um, not really true. Um, teams always find a way to finagle it, especially the Philadelphia Eagles. As far mm -hmm. as the Eagles are concerned, the Eagles currently have... Thirteen point four mm -hmm. million dollars in cap space, which That's is a lot eleventh of in the NFL. If DeAndre mm -hmm. Hopkins would be willing to sign a one-year deal, how he should be interested. Now he's not I, looking for I a one-year deal, though. Brandon Deeg there about a one-year deal. I think that should be the play. And the pitch good luck with that to to DeAndre Hopkins. Okay, this is the pitch. Uh, you. You would like to go sign a giant contract. Well, it's late in the year. A lot of teams don't have money. Come to Philly for one year. We'll give you. We'll, we'll work out a decent contract for you for one year, and uh, you play. And then you can go sign with whoever you want. In the meantime, you come in, you play slot, and you try to win a championship. Because what this is about, at the end of the day, <laughs> it's about. Are you guaranteeing a championship? a championship? Okay, and I have to say. That yes, the Chiefs and Bills may be the media's favorite to land him. I think the best two teams that have the opportunity to land DeAndre Hopkins are the Eagles and the Cowboys. Cowboys have about ten million dollars in cap space, okay? And get and another I'm ten and a half. Say the Sports Illustrated, Jacob Kane Maker, is that mm -hmm. what it is? Kane mm -hmm. Maker, whatever. He agrees with me. DeAndre Hopkins contract projection. Why the Cowboys and the Eagles have the easiest path mm -hmm. to sign Cardinals wide receiver after the release. And it's simple. It's because they've got the money. They've got the money. So to me, we are going to find out mm -hmm. what DeAndre Hopkins is all about. Because if DeAndre <clears throat> Hopkins truly wants to win a Super Bowl, yeah. then the Philadelphia Eagles are the best team to go to. And why do I say that over the Chiefs and over the Bills? Uh, the reason is is that the Eagles play in the NFC Conference. Mm -hmm. the, the Bills and the Chiefs mm -hmm. play in the mm -hmm. AFC Conference. Mm -hmm. If you look at the best teams in the NFL, they're all in the AFC. They're all in the AFC. I mean, that AFC is going to be war. You got, you got the Chiefs, the Bills, the Bengals, the Ravens. You got all those teams. You got Aaron Rodgers there with the Jets. I don't know what the Jets are going to be. But you got the chart. You got a lot of really good teams. Yeah, a lot of good ones. Except for Jalen Hurts, are in the AFC. So if if you're smart, if Hopkins really wants to win and have the best shot to go to the Super Bowl and win a ring and win a championship, then you by going to Philly, the Eagles' road to the Super Bowl would be a lot easier than Buffalo's. Mm -hmm. It would be a lot easier than the Chiefs. Because Maybe. you don't only you only have to mess with those teams one time in the playoffs. Okay, the Chiefs are going to have to play the Bengals. They're going to have to play the Bills. It's a harder road. I'm not saying it's impossible, especially for the Chiefs, but it's it's a easier road in the NFC. Now, if DeAndre Hopkins was to go to Dallas 
and I'm going to keep this real. I'm going to keep this real. If he keep was it real. to Dallas, and if he was to be, be what he's been in the past, say. then DeAndre Hopkins on Dallas would make Dallas the second best team in the conference. And mm -hmm. the battle between the two teams would be the Eagles and Dallas. You see, I look at this as an arms race. Okay, this is an arms race. This is what the NFL has come. Whether you like it, whether you don't like it, this is how the NFL exists. You have free mm -hmm. agents, you have a salary cap, you get the best players that you can possibly get at all times, and you try to put a team together. Now, one of the arguments against getting DeAndre Hopkins for the Eagles is, well, how will he mesh with Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown? Yo, you, a find a, you, you find but a way with players like that. I think A.J. Brown's got a good head on his shoulders and wants to win. I think Devontae Smith wants to win. Of course, these guys are going to have to be willing to take less, maybe get less balls thrown at them, maybe certain things like that. But at the end of the day, they're going to have a legitimate chance to win a Super Bowl. I believe... All right, so that's enough of Philly 500. I'm going to add a couple of things to that. Um, the Ravens, I wouldn't count them out because Lamar Jackson wanted him as well. They have $11.7 million, which they can make it makes it make a move. Now, the thing you have to understand, too, is, is how you structure a contract. Now they've got the voidable year things and all that, so you could end up doing just about anything. You can easily restructure one of your other guys, make a cut if you really deem it somebody you want on your roster um now as far as the cowboys go at the moment like i said we've got 10.5 million we're getting another 10.5 million uh come june 1st because of zeke elliott so the cowboys have the money uh more so than the eagles do um we do still have to get digs taken care of as well as um uh cd lamb but we also too if the Cowboys finally get it done, and I have a feeling that they're working on it because of the, what we've heard from Steph, uh, Stephen Jones about, uh, you know, we might just wake up one day and it's done and so on. They may be working on it now. That's more cash that you can get. So the Cowboys may be in the best position of all of the above to sign DeAndre Hopkins. But uh, who knows who it's going to be. But let me end it with this, Philly. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while being the daddy of the 